Hey y'all, it's Tracy with Mama's Comfort Cooking and today we're going to do some Salisbury steak. Y'all ready to cook? Let's get started. Let me show you the ingredients and what we're working with. I'm going to turn you down and turn you around. So what we have here, we have some um, onions and mushrooms. Okay, we have your ground beef. We're going to use one egg and we're going to use some flour. This is half a cup, but I'm not sure how much. And we're going to use some Dale seasoning and salt and pepper. That's all we want to put on our ground beef is a little salt and pepper because we want to taste the flavor of the ground beef. Let's get started. I'm going to push y'all back so y'all can see me work. Okay, is that a good view? That's a good view. Let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is work on the ground beef. I'm going to bust the egg. I'm only using one egg. You're going to have to use your hands, okay? So the next thing is, I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. Plenty of pepper, little salt. Just a tad of salt. And the reason why I'm just using a tad of salt is because Dale has salt. Next, I'm going to use about two to two and a half tablespoons of dill. All right. And the next thing, we're going to shake a little flour in here. You see that? We're going to put a little flour in here, just like that. And you're going to work this like you would a meatloaf. Let me turn it down so you can see it. You're going to work it like a meatloaf. So we're going to come in here with your hands. If you use gloves, that's fine. We're going to work it like a meatball. This is going to operate as a binder. And the texture is going to change. So it, it will be more soft on the inside. All right. Get it worked in there real good. Then we're going to sprinkle a little more flour on the top, and that's what we're going to cook it with. These are going to be big, thick patties. You want to be able to have them when we get ready to put them in the mushroom gravy. Yep. So that's what we're going to do with the meat. I'm going to add some more flour. Just like that. To that flour, I'm going to add some beef bouillon. Let me get it down. I'm going to add some beef bouillon if I can find it. Hold on one second. My hand. I need to rinse my hand. Let's see what we got over here. There's some beef bouillon. So now we're going to add a little beef bouillon this time, just a little bit, but that's a good tablespoon. And we're going to get ready to roll these patties and we're going to get ready to drop them, okay? So I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Let's come over here and um, get started. So in this skillet right here, I am going to um, add the mushrooms, is that all right, and the onions. Gonna add a Liddell seasoning because mushrooms take on the flavor of whatever you give it. So we need a little seasoning on those mushrooms. We're gonna add a little pepper, but no salt. Okay, a little pepper, no salt. And just pull the salt 
from the Dale. Now we're going to um, drop our patties. So we're going to come over here. I'm going to push you back a little bit so you can see me. And we're going to drop these patties, y'all. This is going to be some good eating. Put you down and you can see me. So remember, I added some beef bouillon. I'm going to make these patties big. I got my cast iron skillet. I put a little oil, just a little oil in my cast iron. I'm going to make these thick and fat. Put a little indentation right there. I want them to hold their form. Few of them I make a little small because you know my baby has to have some. Okay. I'm gonna do a few small ones. Want to cook these? When all the saints of God gather in home, we'll tell the story how we overcome, and we'll understand it better by and by. Now once these onions get completely done and these mushrooms, what I'm going to do, once I get them just like I want them, I'm going to add a can of cream of chicken in here, okay? A can of cream of chicken. We're going to cook these, let them do their thing, and when we come back, we'll be ready to do our gravy, put them in there, eat them with those twice cooked potatoes and they're going to be delicious so um i see y'all back in just a little bit if that's all right with you and let's get these finished so we have started cooking them they're starting to brown they're keeping their shape they're remaining thick that's what we want And the onions and the mushrooms are coming along really good. We're getting ready to do the next step on this. And the next step to the onions and the mushrooms, as I took that can of cream of chicken, and I'm going to pour it in here, just like that. We're going to mix them and let them become merry. And then we're going to go on and finish doing what we're doing. And we're doing it and we're doing it well. Once we get the ground beef like this, we're going to remove it from the skillet. So that it can hold its shape. And we're going to put it in the oven. Okay, we're going to put it in the oven. And it's going to cook on 400 for about 20 minutes because we want them they're very thick and we want them done on the inside so we're going to put them in the oven on 400 
uncovered for 20 minutes. Now let's start the gravy. We have the Salisbury steak in the oven. Now I have a third a cup of flour with a tablespoon of uh, bouillon, beef bouillon. I'm going to add it to my flour. And I had some oil in the skillet. This is how you know if you have enough oil or not. I don't have enough oil. Anytime it just wants to crumble and you don't grab everything, add your little more oil. Everybody knows that gravy is made with oil. Now that's good right there. Make sure you get in there and work all of it through and through. Before I add some browning sauce to it, um, I am going to cook some of the graininess off of the flour. I've told you this every time that you make gravy. Always remove the graininess from your flour base and let it cook a little bit. And we're going to start off with pepper only. We're not going to do any salt because we got to make sure that we're not too salty because we're going to add the mushroom base that we did with the cream of chicken, the onions, and the mushrooms into the gravy. So we're going to make sure to keep an eye on this and let it brown. It's browning. It's looking good. We're going to use just water. Because remember, we don't want to use anything too salty. And beef broth has salt in it. So I'm going to use a little browning sauce. The same browning sauce that we use when we're doing oxtails. Because I want my gravy to be dark. Okay? And to this, I'm going to add four cups of water. Look how dark that is. Four cups of water. Add it in a little at a time. Mm, 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 mm. Remember, this is going to cook down. And then we're going to add the other in there. So we don't want it too loose. This is perfect. You can actually see the flour floating. And that's the beginning steps of our flour. This has to cook, I mean, of our gravy. This has to cook down just a little bit. Next, we're going to add <clears throat> the onions, the mushrooms, and the cream of chicken into the gravy. Just pour it in there. Mm, 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 that smells so good. It really does. And you're going to blend them in. And you're going to let this simmer together. Now, once it gets like it's going, we're going to apply that delicious Salisbury into this wonderful onion mushroom gravy that you created. Uh huh. It's looking really good. We've got the ground beef out the oven. See how thick it kept its shape. So, now what we're going to do is put our Salisbury ground beef into the gravy. It's delicious and moist on the inside. Just like you would want it if you were purchasing it. At Longhorns. 
and they call theirs chop steak. And that chop steak goes for about $15 a plate. So what we're gonna do now is just take it, fold it over into the gravy a little bit. Mm -mm, don't that look good? Honey, you ought to smell it. I hope soon they create smell of vision So we just want to put it. Now I know some restaurants may not put theirs in there, but I've always put my meat in my gravy. And we're going to let it simmer for a good 10 minutes, and then we're going to plate it. That's what we're going to do. It's been 10 minutes. They're ready, and it's time to plate. Now I'm using my delicious twice cooked potatoes. <laughs> yes, I am. What I'm going to do is on the side, I'm going to add a little bit more gravy. We always ask for a side of gravy in the restaurant. We do. So I thought I'd do a side. There we go. And in the restaurant, you only get one. But in Mama Tracy's house, you can have two. You can have whatever you want. Let me get even size for demonstration. Let me get you two good even size. Yes. Then what we're going to do is we're going to top it off with some mushrooms. Mm, 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 mm. Give me some onions. Somebody find the onions. Yeah. One more set of onions and mushrooms, please. That's what I would tell them in the restaurant. I really like onions. And there you have it. There you have it. <laughs> Don't tell me you can't do it because you did it. Yes, we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Lastly, you just want to ask the Lord to bless it and stretch it. Thank y'all for watching Mama's Comfort Cooking. Get in there. Go ahead, get in there. It's your, no, it's your plate. I don't, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Can you see it? All right. Let's, let's let you get a better look. Then I'm going to let you go. All right. Let's take it over here and show you what I'm working with. Let's turn this camera. Look at that. You did that. No, you did it. <laughs> what is some extra gravy. There we go. Get in there. Mm -mm -mm. Thank y'all for watching Mama's Comfort Cooking. Look at those potatoes. Well, we cook with the heart and the soul in mind. Look at that. Look at that plate. I know it's good. Thank y'all. See you later.